So if you're not already using the Microsoft OneNote program, then I think you're missing out on a really great note taker. Text, audio, video, you can even store some Office files directly in your OneNote notebook and edit those files right through the program. If you're really organized, then it's got some great organizational tools that you can take advantage of. And if you're not that organized, then it's got some fantastic search capabilities also. Now, if you're already using the program, then you're probably already aware it's an awesome piece of software. And you're probably already using some of the sharing tools and a lot of the note-taking tools, but you might not be aware of some of the hidden gems in the program. So in this video, I'm going to show them to you. Now, I'll be back at the end with a wrap-up and to go over a little more detail on one of those features. But in the meantime, let me show you the five cool things in Microsoft OneNote. Our first cool feature in Microsoft OneNote involves a tool that's great for working with bulk text. Often when you're working with a lot of text, and especially if you are collaborating with others, you may find the need to put text into the middle of a already completed document. If you're using programs like Microsoft Word, that involves navigating to the section where you need the space and then pressing the space key several times and adding returns to your document. I can customize that process a bit by moving to the Insert tab and then to the left to Insert Space. When I choose the Insert Space command, a small arrow is added to my cursor and I can just move to the area of the document where I need to insert the space, click Hold and drag downward. This will insert space into the document and I can then type my text in that space. Now I can also use this feature to close up gaps in my document by just moving once again to the insert tab then to the insert space command. I'll see the small arrow on my cursor and I can just pick a spot, click hold and drag up to close up gaps in my document. This can also be done vertically by moving to the left of your text clicking, holding, and then dragging it over and adding an additional margin by using the insert space command on the left. Next up, math calculation. When working with a text handling note program, you might be tempted to open up your calculator or an Excel spreadsheet when you're faced with math that you'll need to do in the notebook. You can actually do those calculations in OneNote by adding an equal sign to any calculation that you type. In our example here, you'll see that I am deducting expenses from sales to get a profit number. And I can do that by typing out the calculation, adding an equal sign, and pressing either the Enter key or the Space key to get a result. One of the easiest cool tricks in Microsoft OneNote is adding links to other areas of your notebook. This can be for your use or for those that you are collaborating with in the notebook. Now you can create links by moving to the insert tab and then over to the links command and then creating the link by typing in a text to display and then searching for the section or page in your notebook that you'll need to send your users to. But you can also do this much easier by just using a couple of left square brackets. I'll type the two left brackets and then the name of the page or section that I need to send my users to. And I'll use the bulk text page on the right side of the screen. After typing the name of the page or section, I'll then close the right brackets, both of them, and the text turns into a link. I or my users can then move to the link, click it, and then be directed to the page that I need to send them to with the link. So a great and easy way to create links or even menus in your workbook. 
One of my favorite hidden features is the ability to pull text from an existing graphic object. So if you have graphics, perhaps they were created in a previous year or for a previous meeting and you want to reuse the text uh, that exists on that graphic. Most of the time this involves retyping the text when the text is built into the graphic, but by pasting the graphic into the OneNote notebook and then right clicking, I'm then given the option of copying text from the picture. Once I copy the text from the picture, I can then move to any other area of the notebook. And in this case, I'll right click paste the text and the text from the graphic is now transferred to the OneNote notebook so that you can continue to format it or perhaps use it in some other uh, usage. So I've saved one of the more useful hidden gems in the OneNote program for last. And that's the ability to capture screen prints or screen grabs directly into the OneNote program. Once I have a notebook created, I can use a keystroke to accomplish this. And the keystroke combination is Windows, Shift, and the letter S. This combination will white out the screen and you can then select the area that you'd like to capture. When I let go of the mouse, that image is now captured into the memory and I can go to any of my OneNote notebooks and paste. When I paste this, it goes directly into the page that I've pasted it onto, but I can even have those screen grabs or screen captures go to a specific page or section every time I initiate that keystroke. To accomplish this, I'll move to the File tab, then down to Options. Under the Options, of the program, I'll move to the Send to OneNote section. And then under the last option of Screen Clippings, I can then select any specific area of the notebook to send the, the graphic, or I can have it go to the clipboard only. And then I can paste it into OneNote or other applications. Well, I hope you found that helpful, and I hope you found some uh, tips in there that you can use in your everyday work. Now, I mentioned that I had a little more detail on one of those features, and that's the screen print tool that we covered last. That tool has been so popular in Microsoft OneNote that it is now being extended to Windows 10. So coming soon to an update near you will be the screen print tool of Windows Shift and the letter S. So until our next video, enjoy the OneNote program, and I'm Wayne.